Hey guys, what is going on? My name is... What the hell was just that? I don't even know. But today, we are playing Borderlands the pre-sequel. And I actually rented this game by Redbox. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically... I'm pretty sure most of you guys know what Redbox is. Um, you know, I was a big fan of Borderlands, the first and second one. I beat them both. I got all the DLC and stuff. This game I was kind of spectacle about. I mean, the first, the second one, I really enjoyed... But, the thing about Borderlands is that it kind of has a, it, it, once you beat it, you're not going to be playing it again. I, and I know it has a lot of loot you can get, you know, it keeps people playing this, again, this game is amazing, I love this game. I was a little, little bit spectacle about this one, I felt like this one was just going to be like a little shorter than the other one. But, so I basically rented it and see how it is, it's probably only going to, I'm probably only going to do one episode of this. Uh, that's why it doesn't say part one, part two, because I'm most likely going to only do one episode. Um, so, I'm going to probably play this game all night tonight, and if it's any good, then I'll actually buy it. And then maybe I'll do more videos on this game. If you guys want me to buy it, leave a link down below. But, uh, let's start this off. I, I'm really excited to play this, actually, now. Uh, after I've seen the little intro part. And I already, already entered like some shift codes, because I actually saw Borderlands tweet out about this. So, we can watch this little, I guess, cutscene here. So, I'm pretty sure... Oh, wait, is that Sanctuary? That's Sanctuary, yeah. I'm trying to remember some things uh, about the game. From the second version. Alright, so that's Sanctuary. I think last time I played Borderlands 2... Was around, like, two... Like, a year ago, actually. It's been a while, so... Hopefully I remember the controls, and... Destiny, I guess, kind of, was kind of like a little Kickstarter. You've got some explaining to do, Tiger. Turn up my volume on the TV a little bit. So I know... I'm not sure who that girl is. I think that's one of the characters. And I know you can be tra clap trap as one of the characters, too. It's pretty cool. Here's how it is, Athena. I'm gonna ask you a single question. And if I don't like your answer, So that girl's name is Athena. Cool. Aim at the prisoner. Now, I will ask you this only once. Why? That is a long story. After the so basically this Knox, is like the prequel to all this. Kind of obvious. Day, I received a job offer from a low -level the name of the, the game. Come to the moon, it's and then like I, I think you actually get to explore on the moon which is pretty cool. I didn't trust Hyperion, but I was too hungry it should to be really interesting. Job. And what did you this is like find? one of my first actually kind of like let's plays Violence, of a game with the commentary insanity, which is pretty cool usually with new games and stuff i kind of like to you know actually play it and get into the game but this is another way to do it. i'm only again only going to do like one episode and at the end of the video so far i'll explain all like my verdicts of so of the game so far not like the actual verdict of the whole story game all right guys we are back i'm sorry i actually had to skip that little intro part because it had some music in it and I was afraid I, I don't want to risk copyright issues on my channel so let the character selection screen you know it kind of looks like a little like Borderlands 2 this is what I noticed about the game like they take the exact same elements like the menus the um, UI I think it's called the HUD all that stuff from Borderlands 2 which is not necessarily a bad thing because the Borderlands 2 HUD and everything is really good um, but hopefully it's not like an exact like a DLC. That's what I was worrying about this game. It, it, it was just going to be like a DLC of Borderlands kind of like they're doing with Battlefield Hardline. So I mean let's let's see how good this game is, is going to be. I'm, I'm really really want to play it. So let's go over the characters. We got Athena, Gladiator, uh, Action Skill, can, whatever that means. Kin kinetic, yeah. Uh, <laughs> combat Style, Outcast Assassin with Sword and Shield. That actually sounds really cool. Uh, what is this? A Wilhelm? An Enforcer? Uh, oh, he's, uh, okay, okay, I see how it is. So, he is like a, he's a little drone in here. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, Lawbringer, Root and Tootin, and Gun Shooting. Oh, oh yeah, from the trailer, like, I, I watched a little bit, they have, she has, like, pistols and stuff. And then, the Frag Trap. <laughs> um, to be honest, I don't want to be the, the, the clap trap and I'll probably I, a majority amount of the people pick this class just because you know it's it's clap trap come on but I'm gonna have to go with the gladiator Athena cuz she hasn't I was zero actually in Borderlands 2 I think I was accident first but then I was zero 
and Zero is one of the funnest characters to play, and hopefully this will be like that as well. And from looking at like the the little video before, this character looks really awesome. So I can pick her head and everything. Ooh, what is this? That looks pretty dope. It's like a little. I'm not too sure what that is. All right, so this is what I got actually for having Borderlands 2 and stuff. So let's pick that, and let's just have her name Athena still. All right, here we go. Let's listen in on this. Oh god. Vault Hunter, <laughs> and thank you for answering Hyperion's summons. Unfortunately, the Helios Space Station is currently under attack by insane dogs. This game, like, it just. I love this game so much. They make it so fun, funny to play. So fun to play. I, I did unlock golden keys, and since I had Borderlands 2, I unlocked two weapons. But it just. I don't know. I probably will get them later. We got, got this pistol. We got a soul rifle. Alright. Okay. Oh, see? There we go. Badass. What? Oh my god. We got 500 badass ranks. What? Oh, wait. No, 100. Jeez. Alright, so we're obviously going to do gun accuracy. That's always good to have. Shield capacity we'll have. I don't think we have shield capacity. Gun damage. Melee damage. Probably recoil. I don't have any of that yet. Melee damage. Gun accuracy. Maximum health. Uh, grenade damage. I usually have, like, my grenade damage always is always low. So, fire rate. And then she is recharged. There we go. Alright, and then we also got some new special gear stuff with this guy. What is that? Let's switch it up. What is that? That looks dope as hell. It has like a stock and everything. Jeez, this is pretty awesome. Definitely gonna look. I'm definitely probably going to buy this game in the future just because Borderlands. It's Borderlands. I always buy the DLC. I'm gonna be playing it, so I'm gonna get this game eventually in the future. Just right now, I don't I actually don't have any money to buy it. That's why I actually rented it from Redbox in the first place. I was planning on buying it, but. I, I kind of just like there's so many games that are coming out like I can't even decide what to get I got you know destiny I actually got DayZ last week my friend bought it for me I still got to pay him back for that so that's one reason Okay, wait point mission has an wait point okay I think I understand that all right so this is like one shot kill they're gonna oh okay there you go boom I think I threw it off okay whatever yeah, this pistol just wrecks them. Let's try this out. Oh, oh that's a friendly guy. It's weird. Oh, since I think we are on this story goes kind of like how, like you're on, you're on like Captain Jack's side or something like that. Something something along those lines. I, mean, I was watching the trailer. I haven't seen too much actually. This game came out today, and not a lot of people like. It seemed like it didn't get really hyped up for this game. Portland's two definitely got hyped up, but it just seems. I'm not really too sure. I actually checked my sub box today, and there's n I only saw like two videos on Borderlands pre sequel, which is surprising. When Borderlands 2 came out, jeez, you know how many videos there were? That was crazy. It was a crazy day. My friend persuaded me to buy it, and I was like, alright. And then I actually never. I played Borderlands 1 actually after Borderlands 2. And jeez, that game. Oh my god, I already died. Okay. This assault rifle is really not that great. Let's just use my pistol to kill these guys real fast. This pistol is amazing. This is oh my god, it looks sick as hell too. Oh, there's Captain. Oh my god, he has no mask on. All right, so this is so we'll actually find out how he actually got that thing on his face after you take off his mask. He has that um, volt symbol on his face. I remember that. Jesus, this is cool like hand cannon. Thing. Whatever you want to call him. So we head jack. Alright. What is this? Yeah, that's not that great. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Hey, oh, we're going the wrong way. Okay. Makes sense now. Grenade out. 
Boom. Right, definitely gonna get some critical hits. But it feels like Dest like a bunch of games. Like it I, I feel like Destiny is getting me I think Destiny's getting me ready, I guess, for a bunch of games because one, this game. This game definitely it obviously Destiny is kinda of based off of Borderlands. And then what's the game called? Advanced Warfare too. It's getting me me ready for Advanced Warfare in a way. Um because Advanced Warfare, like the Destiny co-op multiplayer is kind of leading towards Advanced Warfare in a way. I don't know, it just feels get feels like I'm getting ready. I got ready from the game, so Destiny has some good size to it. Oh, screw this, come on. I, honestly, though, the combat in this game, I don't really like as much as in Destiny. I just never like this combat, like I always get down all the time. I'm just not, it's either I'm not good at it, which is probably the case. That's why I don't really, you know, Borderlands 2, I actually haven't played it as much as I did with Destiny. I don't know why, I just, I, I'm not, I don't even know why, to be honest. But I still love the game, I love all the DLCs, getting all the loot and stuff. I think it's just, the game really isn't about exploring, obviously it's about exploring if you want to find all the loot chests. All this stuff like that, but if you just if you just play the game, like and just beat it, then it's it's over. And Destiny, there's actually, you know, strike missions. There's like all this multiplayer stuff, which would be cool in Borderlands. But I just that Borderlands again is just one of those games where you just play it, and then when it's over, it's you're, you're done playing the game. So kind of like I don't even know. All right. He definitely looks a lot different. And it, all right, let's, let's do a mission. Ooh, we got a shield, yeah, boy. Leveled up, nice. Leveled up. Okay, so I'm guessing from the cutscene we are on the actually like the Hyperion ship, like that H in the sky when you uh, Borderlands 2 or, or near the moon it was. So that's where we're at, I think. Pretty sure because this does look like a ship. This does not look like a building, like an ordinary building. So, oh crap! What is that? Let's talk about turns. All right, there it is. Okay, we get it. Stop. <laughs> if if they, I, I don't understand. Why do we have to go through this tutorial process? Like right now, because they told me. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. They should only give tutorials to people that actually haven't played Borderlands 2 and Borderlands 1. They can check, like, by its saves and stuff. Which I think would be a better idea. So I'm probably going to only do this until... I'm only probably going to make this episode 30 minutes. I just want to give... I just want to do some gameplay on this. Because I know a lot of you guys, again, are wanting to buy this game. And from the looks of it, this is not. I I don't, I don't get think this is spoiling too much of the game. I mean, this is just the beginning, so it's not really spoiling the ending of the whole game. Cause you know, what is this going on? Just the overall gameplay and everything about this game. So far, though, it really feels like Borderlands 2, and it just feels different too. It's actually really cool. I like it, and it's probably gonna be a lot different when we actually go to the moon. Because there's supposed to be zero gravity and stuff, new creatures, oh my god, I cannot wait for that. Colonial, what the hell is that? The what? What is- <laughs> Question mark, what is that? I would just run at that point. Oh, okay, wow. Fair. I just predicted that whole thing. Wow. Great job. <laughs> oh, perfect. She destroyed the ships. We gotta find another way out the station. I've never seen a creature like that. What was it? Uh, no idea, but I love my gas sword. Her sword, actually. What the hell is going on? I'm getting reports of alarms all across Helios. What a view. Sir, nothing. Everything's fine. Just. Noise, uh, noise, my. Alright, can you open this up now? I, you you I don't know who that is. Serve, more. If you 
It's hard listening to the story when you're actually in a commentary. I will personally. Sorry, sir. We're losing connection. I'm guessing that's like the. What? I called you an hour. Oh my god, it's so funny. I love how they have this like comedy in this game. It's really makes the game fun. It really does. And when you kill like and not an enemy, they're like, "Oh, don't kill me!" Ah, uh, it's so funny. All the psychos and stuff like that. Oh, jeez. I don't want to risk. I don't even think those ones attack us. Let's go get these guys. Let's just let's just kill them. We're fast with this pistol. Let's go. Come on, buddy. Ooh, get wrecked by that incendiary fire barrel. There we go. Let's just say that. Short and easy. Ooh, get wrecked by my knife. Biatch. Open this up. Let's go. Get money. Get 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 money. Get money. Get money. Get money. Make it rain. How many grenades? Oh my god, this is... I guess this assault rifle's a little better, actually. Better for this kind of... Com or... I don't know how to call it. Sorry if I'm kind of, like, not talking as much. I'm trying to actually listen to the story as well. Or maybe if I am talking too much, I don't know. I'm trying to listen to the story at the same time. Correct. What is this? Oh, ammo machine. Nice. Okay, so rifle bullet. Bull what is. Laser cells? There's laser guns. Are you. What? Hey. Um, I don't know. Oh, why did I buy SMG? I didn't mean to buy that. So rifle, we gotta buy. And then pistol. I really want to find out. I want to find a laser gun. That's what I want. Okay, well, I've got a stupid idea. We're gonna head to that moon I wonder if they have, like, I already noticed they have, like, the same browns as last game. I wonder if there's any new types of, like, browns and stuff. That would be pretty cool. Jeez. Yeah, I definitely want to pick up this game as soon as I can. As soon as I can get the money for it. <laughs> definitely want to. Oh jeez, it's too shot. I'm still pointing Oh nice, nice. We got our skill tree. What is this? Uh, oh yeah, this is the main skill thing. Okay, let's press L to use your action skill. We really gotta use it right now. Oh yeah, let's just use it. Oh my god, this is sick. How do we use this? I'm not too sh Oh, you can like throw it and stuff like a shuriken. That's sick. I think that's how you say shuriken. Uh, I'm not even entirely sure about that. Ooh, that's awesome. Glad I picked this class. It's pretty. It's pretty sick. I really am curious what the claptrap will do. I'm, I'm probably gonna go back into the campaign and stuff and actually see what claptrap actually does. So it's very interesting. Open that door. Thank you for that, Mr. Captain, or, I was about to call him Captain Jack. No, he's not Captain Jack Sparrow, what is this now? Uh-oh, we're gonna fight a boss. Yep, we are, probably. Kill this guy. Oh my god, that's funny. Oh, it's this, this game always just, but the first, when, when, I, when, I can't really explain this game that much, like, I how do you throw this thing? Okay, there we go. I don't get it. Dude, that's weird. I don't know. We gotta, we gotta get used to this. But, I guess when the first time you play Borderlands games, it's really, really fun. But after a while, and you get to like highest level and stuff, it does get kind of, I guess, old. I'm gonna get how that skill tree works. Or but if you never played Borderlands and 
If, listen, if you never played a Borderlands before, I wouldn't recommend getting this because so far it seems like this game has a lot of story. So you have to know some of the story. I would recommend going with Borderlands 2. Borderlands 1, you know, I played that after Borderlands 2 and it seems like I knew more of the story actually that way. Um, it, it really depends. If you want to go with Borderlands 1 first, go ahead. You can do that. But if you really just want to, like, if you, I wouldn't hop into this right away. I would hop into Borderlands 2 first because you'll understand more of the story because that game's all about story. Not unlike uh, Borderlands 1. It wasn't, it, it, it really didn't have a great story or ending. So, I would just go with, again, Borderlands 2 before you play this game. And those who already have Borderlands 2, played both of the Borderlands, and thinking about getting this game, if if you're just like me, you like you're one of those gamers that just really like the games for the story, and you like all you like grinding, getting loot and stuff. Then yeah, get get this game. So far, I'm def I'm definitely gonna get this game. I'm kind of confused with this class. I gotta get used to it a little bit. Alright. So we defeated those two guys. Noise might. So, people are always wondering, is what what what's better, Borderlands or Destiny? Okay, here's the thing. There's two. It's kind of both. They're both pretty much similar. It really depends on what type of game you like. If you're into story, if you're into, I guess, event. I don't even know really. If you're into really story. Then Borderlands is for you. If you're into like grinding and just multiplayer, like intense, like really competitive, then Destiny is you for you. Because Destiny, obviously, the story in that game sucked. It absolutely is garbage. I, I can admit it. The game sucked. Well, it didn't suck. The story sucked. At least the game is amazing. I love the game. But yeah, it, it really depends. Sad, sad that Borderlands is actually on the PS3. I mean, I can under, kind of understand that. Borderlands isn't really a graphical intensive game, so it really wouldn't work on next gen consoles. So. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's weird. Alright, um. Am I supposed to go? Okay, I'm making sure. I was, I was like, I saw that pull up. I'm like, oh, I should pop in it. Alright. So, it might. Alright, so I'm, we're trying, um, this is what I know so far, I, I'm kind of not paying attention a little bit, I'm trying to. So we're trying to get off of this chip, I'm guessing, and those two weird things, or that, I don't know, destroyed our, destroyed our thing. This robot's stuck in here, gotta smash that out. So they destroyed our ships to get out of here so i'm guessing we're using a cannon to actually get ourselves out so going up the elevator what's up handsome jack how you, how you been so far that'd be awesome if you actually like, talk to the people in the game like the conversation is pretty, pretty cool oh Yeah, I, I, I still gotta get used to this stuff. I gotta read up on about this stuff. Alright. Alright. I love how he like, flips the gun back like that. It's pretty cool. You won't have died in vain. If you die. Alright. New plan. I'll stay behind. I need you down on the moon. You Buy some ammo. So rifle. You're really staying? You'll likely die. Now you save my life a couple of times on the pain favor. Besides, I'm 
a hero, baby. Self-sacrifice is part of the job. Oh, good. A health machine. I had one put in here after a worker had an accident. And, Welcome. Uh, lost his torso. Better heal up before your trip down to the moon. <laughs> Alright, I'm guessing after this mission's over, which is probably going to be when we like shoot out of here, I will end the episode because after that, I'm just going to be, you know, playing that, playing this game, and I don't want to spoil anything for anybody else. So that's what is probably going to happen. Okay, this container ought to do the trick. Really loving this game though. Another thing also is my dad's home, so he probably will interrupt me when I'm recording. All right, it's okay though. <coughs> what are we doing? Uh oh, let's not die. I believe after this we're gonna get shot to the moon or or the the Pandora. Not too sure yet though. Yo. Alright guys. So I think this is we'll end the episode here because it looks like we're going. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out. And buy this game if you if you wish, okay? <laughs> I don't know if this helped you out or not, but yeah, peace out guys and see ya.